practice our leaders. If they they sick, though they sabi wrong come obodo you go for treatment. When be said they get the money to take do the same thing for Africa, but greediness not let the one. I be man listening to the phone conversation of a, uh, a brother when he be say he called the hospital. We have worry day for London. Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel True Dreams with Lady T is your sister, your friend, is your girl. If this is your first time or you just the waka pass YouTube, you just come across this channel. Please consider to hit the subscribe button, click on the notification bell so you will know anytime we put video here. Thank you for coming around again and God bless you. For this our channel now Tori, now we the talk and now Pigeon English will take the knock our Tori for you. So today we want to talk about our government so we want to talk about our president abu harry when we say he don't die but the person when he did there when they parade himself as buhari if they travel all around everywhere they go different places when buhari they campaign they say he want to be president he promised us so many things he promised us say he will give us good roads he promised us say he will give us better education better lights he promised security. He promised say hospital. Now the main thing when he be say he go do, but right now hospital he not do. Now six years now when he do the rule, we not see hospital for eye. He go they travel go but do you go? They go take treatment every time. What about the poor people? When not you travel go but do you go? They go take treatment. People they die every day for that country Nigeria. Sickness will not reach anything to keep person for Obodo Ibo. Now, so it just they make people finish for that Africa, Nigeria. All other Africa country that they improve, that they go up, up. Me, I'm not going to do away our own Nigeria. They be. I thank God say in this life, everybody get a freedom of speech. So that makes me they carry this one. They can say, This is our Buhari so when we say it, they walk out everywhere. One year and say, and go go see Karen. Say Buhari they want hospital for London, whether they call Willington. So Omokuri and good Nigeria people, when they are around that area, now so all of them go do peaceful protests for the front of the hospital. Say make it come out. Not be so they say they do. If uh, UK people, the London people, not fix their hospital, they're greeting the way Nigeria government take greeting. He go see hospital go stay. I'm gonna ask our leaders this question. They go see hospital stay. When be say any small thing, go cash them. The wrong come up with you both. Eddie, they worry them. The wrong come up with you both. Their wife want born. The wrong come up with you both. If of all you both people greedy, the way Africa government, especially that Nigeria government, the way they take greedy, they go see country enter. They go see good hospital go. We get the money to make good hospital. Then they only they think about themselves. They know they think about the poor people. Why about poor people? When you say that they sick, many people they die every day. They no feel uh, go hospital, no good hospital. Many people for Europe now, it gets some sickness. When you say you know they feel keep person, but for that our Nigeria, you know, will even take two days. You don't finish that person's life because no better hospital to go. Then when they run, they come. Is that time when we say anytime we hear say they're there anywhere for Bodo Ibo, make we they get up, make we they go there, go they look for them. By then they will talk to themselves. Not be before when they'll come, we're going to give them flower, or they clap out for them. Which kind of nonsense be that? This time around, no more clapping out. As we hear say they're there any place, any leader, when we say there any place. Now, so thank God say we don't, they all over the, the world, no where Nigeria people not there. Now, so we go march, go there. But I didn't get luck, say, not be Italy come. Like I say, now Italy come, now flower, I for take go welcome her. I for welcome her where well with better flower. I for know as I'll take enter the hospital, take welcome her with better flower. As they take do so, it good. So that if you feel go back to Nigeria, it will go fish country. All other African countries, they see they improve. Things they change. Our own, no improvements. When I go to Nigeria that day, the street lights where they ever put, all of them don't break. When I go again, they don't even stay fit sound. They even come worse past as it be before. Waiting now. Road when we first did they manage for the area. Now, now the road now, they don't defeat pass again, they don't block her. 
because the road now is no good at all at all. If rain just for a hair, that place don't turn to River Niger. When are we going to to change? So my people, I don't want to talk too much. Oh. So any country we yes say they go, know how we must get Nigeria people for there. We don't do everywhere. We go go meet them, make them go fix their country. When I go they hear what? What could they come now? Make one they come now. This is not before when the job will come on now. Make one they come now. Now we'll receive flower this time. So my people, as they do all this one, they they do the peaceful protest. Then one of our Nigeria brother call call the hospital back back because according to him, he said they get right to call the hospital because now public figure now they there now president they there all of us he get right to answer us. And we get right to call any hospital when we say the day. Now, so this brother can't carry phone. He can't call the hospital. When I listen to what they tell this brother, then we will come back. Okay. We are currently experiencing very high call volumes and appreciate your patience as we work hard to answer you as quickly as we can. We're here from 9 to 5 from Monday to Friday. You may experience a quicker response calling us later in the day or towards the end of the week. As with many organisations, we are currently working from home, so you may hear some home life noises in the background. If you have health insurance, please have your policy number and authorisation number to hand before booking your appointment. Welcome to the HCA UK Wellington Hospital. Please choose from one of the following four options. To make or change an appointment at the hospital in St John's Wood, please press 1. For the Elstree Waterfront Outpatient and Diagnostic Centre, please press 2. For the Golders Green Outpatient Centre, please press 3. For billing or all other general inquiries, please press 4. For billing inquiries, please press 1. For all other inquiries, please press 2. Welcome to the Wellington Hospital. For quality assurance and training purposes, your call may be recorded. Good morning, Wednesday. This is Cat speaking. How may I help you? Yeah, hi. Good morning. Uh, yeah, I'm, hi. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm calling because this is very urgent. Yeah, my, I understand that my... Sorry, the line is... Sorry, the line is breaking. I can't hear you properly. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you better now. Okay, it looks like you. It's from your end. Something is happening on your end. Maybe you put me on speaker or something. I don't know. Okay. Do you want me to direct you to someone? or? Uh, I can hear my voice echoing from your side. So if you can stop the echo... Um, I'm sorry, I have it on the headphone, so I can't, I can't do anything else, I don't know, it's just maybe something with the line. Do you want to speak to someone, or you just... Yeah, I want to speak to you, uh, and probably you could direct me to someone else. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, but uh, I, I understand the delay that's going on in the background. My president is currently in your hospital, and I want to speak to him. I don't understand why he leaves Nigeria and comes to Wellington Hospital to get treatment. I'm talking about Bukhari. Okay. okay. Yeah, so can you... So do you, know, do you know on which floor he's on? Uh, I, I don't know which floor he's on, but if you can just put his name on, the, on your computer, probably you'll be able to know which floor he's on, what word he's in. Okay, I, want, can I, have, I want to find can out... Can have the full name doing. again? Sorry, say again? Yes, can I have the full name? The full name of the patient, please. It's B U H A R I. Is that the first name? That's the show name. That's uh, Bravo Uniform Hotel Alpha Romeo Indigo. Okay. And the first name? First name. I'll uh, give you the first letter M. They be coming out Mohammed. But Mohammed is it, but Mohammed is spelled too so many ways. Uh, I don't have the full spelling for that. You said Mohammed Bashir. 
No, not Bashir. Buhari. Oh, sorry. Buhari. Okay, I don't see anyone with this name on, on my list. Do you know when the patient was admitted to our hospital? Yeah, they, 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 they checked in yesterday. Okay. And do you know what kind of problem he came for? Just medical checkup. They don't medical checkup. Just the reason they get to work. Uh, at six okay, so you were something general, not for surgery or something? No, no, no. No, that, that, that's not what it said. They said he just came for medical checkup. So you don't have you don't have anybody with that surname in your hospital. No, I don't. I don't see it on the on the list or our inpatient list. So what I'm assuming is that maybe he came for a general checkup just for the day, and then he was discharged. Maybe it was just a day case as a. Okay, so can you just general... confirm, can you just confirm the surname again to me, um, Buhari? That's B for Bravo, U for Umbrella, H, H for Hotel, A for Alpha, yeah. R for Romeo, and I for Indigo. Yeah. And there's no such person in your hospital at the moment. No. No. I don't see anyone with this name on our inpatient list. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you yeah. very much. That's just what. Uh, Sorry. That's just what I want to know because if it's there, you know, perhaps you know we could bring in some flowers, or perhaps we could come and ask some questions because uh, he's the president of Nigeria. Nigeria is a big country. Okay. Yeah, big country. Okay. Over 200 million people. And uh, we wonder why he's leaving Nigeria to come to the United Kingdom to come and look for health care. Well, anyway, thank you very much for your help. Okay. And, um, uh, if you wanna, if you wanna hold the line, because maybe if you say he's that important, maybe he came under after um, under a different name. So I'll, I, I might be able to search for you in a, in a different way. But if you don't mind, just to hold the line for me, and I'll, I'll just come and help you in a, in a minute, yeah? How, how, how do you want to do that? Because you just told me that he's just, not there. Just, yeah, just just hold the line for me, and I'll, I'll help you in a minute, right? All right, okay, no worries. Thank you so much. Right. Hello. Hi. Yes. Thank you so much. Sorry, thank you so much for waiting. Took so long. <laughs> so, um, I'm so sorry. I was literally looking for, for him in, in order because we have, the Wellington Hospital has four buildings. So I was just trying to see if, if he's been admitted to any of the buildings. Um, so unfortunately, I can't see him anywhere in, in as an inpatient in our buildings. Okay, but you're not the, yeah. first, you're not the first person I spoke to. Where's the first person that I spoke to? That, that was me. Okay, your accent changed. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, sorry. So, um, I think you just tried to look in in all our records, and I I can't seem to to find him uh, for the last name of uh, um, uh, Uhari. Okay, okay. So, so what what I can yeah. what I can confirm right now is that. Uh, Buhari coming to Wellington Hospital, traveling all the way from Nigeria, yeah. the Nigerian president coming into Wellington Hospital is a lie. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can't. I can't say that because I can't give you more information than I. No, that's what you just. That's so, what you just confirmed. It's a I'm lie. I'm telling you that the patient. What's the definition of a lie? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to explain to you that the person, the name, the person with the name of Buhari that you gave me, it doesn't seem to be on our inpatient list. So that means either the patient wasn't here at all or the patient came for a day case and he's been discharged and the patient is no longer an inpatient with us. I, I, I don't understand, but now we, we have, if you go, if you go on Google, right now if, do you have a computer on, in front of you just go on google and just type yeah. Buhari goes to wellington hospital england and you will see that he's right there in your hospital so what's going what's going on what do we not understand just just, just uh, any 
Boom Boom Tip. Okay, um, I have only one more option to to call the duty manager and see if maybe they know something else that we don't know. Um, do you do you mind holding the line again for just a couple of more minutes? Oh, I'm just trying yeah. to help you and see if that person is actually with us. Otherwise, I don't want to send you to like give you any wrong information. Uh, no, you don't want yeah? to. Do, you don't want to do that, or you don't want to cut me off because it's just going to make things worse. Because we just, I'm just going to keep digging deeper. Because I know he's there. Maybe he's using a different name or something. But don't worry. I don't want to put a burden on you. Take it to your manager. Okay. Just give me one second. I will just try to call the manager right now. Right. Thank you. Hello? Yeah, hello. Hi, thank you for waiting again. Yeah, no worries at all. I know, I know that the Nigerian president is in your hotel. Your hospital. Okay, sorry about that. Not hotel, your hospital. Okay, so, okay, so I, can't, I can't give you any information about the, um, any, any patient. Um, yeah, so... Why, why can't you give me that information? This is the, uh, the rules of the GDPR, so unfortunately I can't give you any information about any patient at the Wellington Hospital. You so cannot. you can try to phone them directly, or... So I, I, can, I can phone him directly, is that what you're saying? Yeah. You can try to phone the patient directly if, if you have his number. Well, GDPR rules are allow you to dispose the information of any public servant throughout the whole world. You cannot I'm sorry, dispose. I'm not. I'm not. You, you cannot I'm sorry, I'm just, a, I'm, just a, yeah. I'm just a receptionist at one of our hospitals and um, I've been informed and I've been instructed not to give any information about our patients at the Wellington Hospital. Uh, uh, okay, you Thank cannot dispose so their age. You cannot dispose their, you cannot dispose their uh, whether they're male or female, but you can dispose their contact number or email or any no, way. You can. No, I can't dispose any of the information. No, I can't. Okay. I don't want. Okay. Do you want me to show you where? Do you want me to show you where it shows on the GDPR rules that you can dispose the contact phone number where somewhere in the public office is accountable? I'm really or, sorry. Or I'm really you wanna... I, I'm, I must. I'm, I'm, I must hang up this call so I can pick up another call as I'm switchboard and I'm dealing with other uh, external calls as well. Yeah, I don't understand. Really but, I can Okay. But I don't understand, but I am not satisfied with I'm still hearing my, uh, what do you call it? My echo in the background, like someone is listening to the call, but I don't care. Whether it's CIA, not, FBI, I don't, I don't care. I, um, I'm really sorry, I don't understand what you're talking about. This is a, the switchboard of that Wellington Hospital, and I'm talking to a headset. And I'm not really sure how you can hear it or what are you hearing. I'm just talking to you right now through a headset. Okay, but when I speak to you, when I speak to you, I hear, I, I hear an echo. I don't, I don't know why. But is okay. there, uh, is there another number? Anything, so I don't know what you. Is there another number you can give me for the hospital where I can get close to the people who are treating him there? No, this is no. No, this is the only number and we, we can't connect you to the patient's room or anything like that, so... Okay, so, so, so you guys are, prote you guys are protecting a detector. Yeah, you should, you know what you can do for me? Do you know what you can do for me? Pass my message on to him, tell him to go back and fix Nigerian hospitals. If you stop coming... Really sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. I really have to hang up the well, phone right you, now. Really if you stop coming to the United about. Kingdom to get treatment, if you should go and fix Nigerian hospitals. This is all I can say. Okay, I wish you a good day. Yeah, Bye. thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye. In this life, eh, we have freedom of speech and everybody has rights to his own opinion. My own opinion here is that London and every other country, they should not allow any African leaders, especially 
Nigeria leaders to come and be taking treatments. Because if they are accepted there, they will never fix up their country. They will not fix it up. Can you imagine that little sickness keep people in Nigeria? People there every day for lack of no good hospital, lack of health care. If not for God, my enemy, for not die, I would have been a story. I was sick. I risk the only they pay me. What did they give me? Panadol. Fence sick. No hospital to go. If you even go hospital, no facility to even check you where. I go hospital, they'll just touch me, touch me. The next thing, they give me Panadol. Fence sick. To drink. Not until when I find my way to Bodo Ibo. As I just enter, after two weeks, the rims start again. Now I go hospital. As I reach hospital, they control everything in my body. And they can't discover, say, I get something for my ribs. They can't get to blood it out. If the thing they hold me today, I know if you stand up, that's why I go bang. Go they pay me. They blow it out. So imagine, say, I still in Nigeria. Let me say, my enemy for not die. Now, some people they die every day for that Nigeria because no good health care. No one, they don't even manage in a private and that private, not be everybody get the money to afford it. Very expensive. And they don't even get all the facility like that. So, if uh, Obodo Ibo people, European people, other countries, people, we help Nigerians to stop Nigerian leaders not to enter their country for any treatments. By the time they don't come, nobody allow them to come. They will tell them go and fix your country. I believe they will fix that Nigeria. They will fix it. Because if they come, they will welcome them. They cover up for them. They not bring out their identity. So they will keep on coming. So they should not allow them. Because people are dying in Nigeria. People are dying every day. If they don't allow any of them come, you will see I say the wrong go the mat big, big hospital for them. We have the money, not that we don't have it, but then they pack the money for their selfish interest. If you cannot build their hospital, where you go see take come? Where my people drop your opinion down there. What do you think? Your opinion is very, very important. Thank you for joining. Please share this video. Share this video, may it reach. All their hands, may they not be allowed that they come again. They are all too much. Share this video and God bless you. Thank you for watching. We are not just here to talk talk, we are here to say a story that will change life, that will touch life, that will change situation of things. If you share this video, you are going to save someone today. Thank you and God bless you. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, click on the notification bell so you will know anytime we put video. I Remember your sister, your friend, your girl, your picking. Anyone you call me, I did it for you. True dreams, bright life with Lady T. See you on our next video. Thank you and ciao. If there is anything that is bothering you, my friend, please say it so others will learn. Bring it to true dreams with Lady T. And God will be your strength. Bring it to true dreams.